I'd like to discuss in this video how we revamped our green belt system. Uh, there's going to be an actual uh, posting on this video so you can actually read this better than trying to read it. But uh, Bob volunteered to be my chalkboard today. Um, and basically, there's going to be five, or excuse me, six, uh, six one steps that we're going to go over. Uh, the first one is uh, cold side, stepping left, right roundhouse kick, turning back side kick. Now, I'd like to demonstrate that. That's going to be number one. Basically, just on like bag work, the idea is that the opponent throws a punch. And as they throw the punch, you're going to step to the left side, avoiding the punch. Okay? And as you do, you're going to hit him with the side kick. You're going to place it down. You're going to turn, look over your shoulder, and hit him with another side kick. But obviously, you'd do it a little faster than that. It'd be like, you know, side kick, down, side kick. Okay? That's actually going to be considered green belt one step number one. The next one is hot side, and it's going to be the same actual move, but it's on the hot side. Okay? So in this case, the person throws the punch, and as you do, you kind of like palm block and avoid. You just put it up as a guard as you're stepping to the right side. You're going to side kick the opponent, set it down, and then turn it back side kick also, okay? But the idea about the hands, the hands are really secondary. If you can just step as you're throwing the punch and nail them, either side cold or hot, that's what we prefer. But if you can't, then what we would do would be like a wide, wide block, okay, with a side kick, put it down, turn it back side kick, or a right-handed inward block. Okay, as I block the punch, I launch the side kick, put it down, the side kick, okay? Now, that's actually one and two for the green belt. The next one is actually, uh, as part of this uh, sheet, you'll see that the kick is actually, um, also includes a, a crescent kick, okay? So, the crescent kick, the idea is someone would throw the punch at her stomach again, and what I would do is, as the punch is coming, I crescent kick the arm out. So if the arm was this way, I'd be doing like this to the person. I'd be crescent kicking their arm to the outside and themselves, right? So I'd be like, bang. And then I set it down and then a quick spin the side kick. So it's like, you know, a faster move than that. It's like crescent kick the hand, turn, turn it back side kick. The theme of the green belt is actually uh, the turning back side kick. So that's why we've included that one. Okay, and stop for a one step number four is actually, we put this on the bag just to give you a visual. This would be like someone standing here, stepping and throwing a punch, and as they do, we do our technique. Now, um, one of the techniques we use for the green belt is we use the forearm, okay, or even the elbow, okay? So like the three techniques that we try to emphasize in the training for the green belt is the turning back side kick at this point, uh, the elbow strike using an elbow, okay, as, as an actual weapon, or even uh, using, well, we, we will call it forearm block, but it'd still be using the forearm, you know, to come inward as you kind of like step, okay? Now, with the theme being turning back side kick, the idea is the person would be throwing the punch, and then we'd be like blocking the forearm, and then quick turn, executing the turning back side kick on them. So, you know, take that off. Not really necessary. Raise this up just a little bit so it's more like a person. So I'd be ready to fight, right leg back. As they throw the punch, I'd be either in a force stance, okay, or a back stance. It doesn't really matter. Okay, the reason I say it doesn't matter is because it's, it's really a preference. The technique that we're emphasizing is the forearm for the block. So you're coming this way, this direction, where you're cutting it, and you're keeping the circle going. That's the idea is I'm taking a step and I'm blocking. And as this guy's arm is going like this, because it got blocked really hard, I'm opening him up. And when I'm opening him up, there's his stomach, so I turn and blast him with the back side kick. So it looked like this. It'd be one, two. Okay, that's the idea of that one, okay? Now the next one, um, I am gonna use Bob, because Bob shows more of a person than, than what we need. Now Bob, Quite simply, throws the punch again. We do the same forearm block. So I would forearm block him, okay? Then I would groin strike him. So the idea is I'm blocking, groin striking, okay? And I think I screwed that up. We're going to use Bob to continue this so you know, it's more of a personal, so you can see what we're doing. 
The idea is the same thing we were doing on the bag. Bob steps and throws his punch, so I would block the arm. Then I'd quick shoot it down with the groin. So I'm going from here, and I'm using the hammer part, the meat, right? The bottom of the fist. So I'm blocking the arm, and then I'm coming straight in. So the motion is one, swing down. So one, swing down. Then I would take myself from a horse stance and convert it into a front stance and launch my punch to the face. So it would be like this. I'd step in a horse stance, a bottom strike to the groin, turn, and put all my power. The power comes from the hips. So I twist the punch. So again, it looked like this. It'd be one, two, three. Okay? One, two, three. All right, and that would be, um, if you notice, there's a there's almost like a theme going on here. The first one that we did a minute ago in the bag was we went and we did a forearm block and kept the circle going for the turning back side kick. Now this time we're going to keep the circle going again. I'm going to whip them out. I'm going to shoot low, and then I'm going to step with the punch. Now, if you don't have a bob bag, you know, you can just do it in the air, right? So it would be one, two, and then switch into a good stance with three. Just remember, if you do have a bob bag or if you're going to use uh, our uh, pole construction here, you want to practice punching past um, the head. That way when you hit the object, you're going to push through the object. Okay, that's the idea. And the last one is actually um, a universal block, okay, and then um, uh, left forearm, elbow. Let's break that. Okay. Um, this is our construction that we did before. The idea is someone is actually going to, um, I'm going to take this one off because it's only going to be in my way. But the idea now is that this would be a punch shape to my face, okay, and the idea is I take my right palm and I block punch out of my face. I do a circle up with the knife hand blade facing out. So the thumb is actually facing this direction. So it's a one, two, and then I grab after I block. From here, um, it's going to be um, a forearm to the actual arm, okay? Let me try that again. So it's one, two, forearm, and then elbow to the body, okay? So it looks like this. One, two, grab, um, punch, four, okay? Did I sweep it up? I did. Okay. Now, the last one is actually using the elbow or forearm, I should say, as, as a breaking mechanism. Person throws a punch basically at my face. I do a universal block. Universal block is a palm and a redirecting knife, and then you hold on to the person. So this is what we call, you know, a re, uh, universal block. Like a block, a quick grab, and then you actually grab the arm wherever it is, if it's at the face, the body, whatever. But the idea is it's a punch to the face. So I, I palm block, I circle up with my knife, I grab. Now from here, I take my arm and I forearm it right into his elbow, okay? So if his arm is extended like this, you know, the elbow bends this way, but it does not bend that way, right? So after I have him, I have him launched right here and I hit, the idea is I'm snapping the elbow away from the body. And we'll show that in a minute when we use Jenna as our partner. So the idea is one, universal, break, and then end it with a quick straight to the body using the elbow itself. The idea is you're going to hit the body. Now that you've seen the, uh, the actual um, arm part of it, I'll focus more on the actual elbow strike. So it's one, two, and then turn. Now, normally I'm in a back stance on this and I step out of the way. Because if the idea is coming this way, it's like coming off the arrow theory. I'm going to step to the, uh, the cold side, which is always my preferred side if I have a choice. Then I come up and I grab. Then from here I'm going to break the arm. Now what I do, if I turn my hips into more like a horse stance, as I'm breaking that arm, then I can just let the, everything go, and then there's two ideas. You're either going to hit the stomach like this, and you're going to like quarterback them, or, or like really, you know, elbow into them, or you're going to strike it using the two lower ribs, and you're going to go like that, where you're trying to hit the person with the, with the strike and then striking through. I personally prefer just going straight into the body and hitting them really hard, okay? So one more time, the actual technique would be one, two, okay, break, and then strike. Now the actual, uh, just for clarifying, 
you know, you can only add or take away techniques to these, right? Like, uh, we've taught this to the kids and adults many times, universal block quick punch, right, to the face, because it's fast. You can include that, okay? I mean, it's not the requirement for the green belt, but it's a great technique. Where I go one, two, and then punch the guy, then I come back, break the arm, get the arm out of the way, and then bam, right in with the, uh, the elbow, right? But you don't have to punch him in the face. I think sometimes the reason to punch in the face is a good idea is because it's quick. One, two, boom. So now the guy's stunned for half a second. You can break, and then you can come in with the elbow, okay? That kind of idea. Um, but that concludes, you know, one through six, shown on, say, um, Bob and actually uh, the heavy bag, okay? I would like to uh, kind of demonstrate them using our pole because we had said that we we're going to try to incorporate the pull techniques. So, simply done. All right. We will do, the first one is more of a stomach punch. So we'll push that one in, take this one out, just so it's, so it's not in our way. So this would be more a visualization of a person standing here and doing a straight punch to my stomach, okay? First one, okay, I don't know how yours are set up, mine's set up like on a four by eight sheet. So I'm here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sidestep, letting the, the, the actual uh, punching arm go by me a little bit. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna hit him with the side kick. I'm gonna step down off the platform so I have my balance, turn, and then I'm gonna hit him with the other side kick, okay? That would be actually the first one, right? The second one is gonna be to the opposite side, okay? So what I'm gonna do, again, I'm here, the guy's throwing a punch, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna baby step with my right leg this time, okay, and try to gain some distance, right? I'm not just right here turning and going side kick, okay, because I eat the punch. The idea is the punch is coming at me, so I'm gonna side step, so now I'm off the angle of it, arrow theory again, either right or left. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna side kick the person, put it down, turn, and side kick, okay? and using this just for a visualization on how to hit, okay? So that's the first two. All right, now, this one here, this would still be the stomach. So the idea is I'd be close, right? I kind of drop back a little bit, and then I crescent kick the, uh, the dummy, right? And then after the crescent kick, I've opened up the body. You saw how that turned? That's exactly how it would be on a person. That I turn, and then I hit him with the turning back side. So it's a crescent kick using the inside of my of my foot right here does the crescent kick. So it'd be from the back leg, it'd be the crescent kick. Set it down, it becomes the lead leg. Then I turn and shoot my side kick into the back, okay? Now, the next one is actually um, using the forearms, okay? Um, now, the forearm, just like the crescent kick, it came from back here and it got its power from winding the hip. Well, the same thing's gonna be true this time is gonna be from my forearm. As I take the step into, say, a horse stance, I hit and I open up the body, okay? Now, once I've opened up the body, now what we're gonna do is demonstrate uh, using our, our wooden dummy, or plastic dummy, actually, um, what's cool about how it can shift, okay? Um, so, the idea is I'm in a back stance, my guard is up, and I take a step into a horse stance. As I do, I penetrate using the forearm and I twist the actual fist and push out, okay? Now in real life, what would happen is this guy's arm would go like this, okay? So the idea is I'm going here, okay? Then I'm keeping the circle going with the turning back side kick and just jamming that turning back side kick into it, okay? Another idea, again, would be, like I said before, uh, this is using the forearm again, is what I would do is I would practice it blocking the forearm out of the way, shooting the hammer into the groin, right? So the idea would be a block and then a groin hit, okay? Now from here, I would practice passing the pole, okay? Hitting past the pole. That way, if I hit the guy in the face, I'm really jamming him into next week, okay? So the idea is I'm in a back stance. My guard is up. I use my forearm, okay, and I block, all right? I quick shoot the hammer into the groin. As I do, I take my horse, convert it into a front as I'm throwing the left hand to the face, okay? So 
the two that incorporate the forearm, one is uh, forearm turning back side kick, and the other one is forearm uh, with a lot of hand techniques and stuff, okay? Um, like I said, I prefer not to glue mine just so that it would move a little more, okay? So the idea, the first one is the forearm blocking it out of the way, then kind of lean back a little bit, shoot and turn it back side kick, okay? That's the first forearm one. The next forearm one is you step, and the forearm low, bottom fist, reverse punch, okay? And then, now, the last technique, which is number six, you would take your thing, and you would actually take your 45 with your, with your thing. And the reason you do the 45 is it's more of a face punch this way, okay? Now, this one here incorporates the universal block, okay? So the idea of the universal block, like I said before, is palm, circle knife, okay, then grab. You're holding on to this person, so it's one, two, and grab, okay? Now from here, like I said a minute ago, you can punch, okay, and then you can, um, you know, elbow strike through. That's one example. You could palm, grab, punch, break the forearm, and then elbow the body, or you can do the actual requirement. And the actual requirement is universal block and then break immediately. Then go right from there into the elbow strike, okay? That's actually, um, you know, using the wooden dummy, okay, and practicing it at home, okay? All right, um, we're going to bring Jen out here in a minute, and she's going to help demonstrate so we can do two people and you can see what's what, okay? All right, Jen is going to come out here and be uh, part of this real quick so you can visualize it on an actual person now. So... Uh, Jen is going to step and throw a punch, so when she throws a punch, here's, here's my punch, right? So the first technique we're going to do is we're going to go to the cold side. So as the punch is actually coming at me, that's when I want to step and avoid. I, you know, I mean in class we can throw it and then sidestep it, but actually in real life I want to be like that. And that's why sometimes if you use your hands to help it in real life now, not so much the class. Like the class the idea is you avoid it, okay? But why wouldn't you use the hand if you could, right? Okay, and we call that a wide check, okay? So if someone throws a punch, it's a palm, but it's a wide check. Then this would be my lead hand, which would be my, my left hand. So I wide check, okay, and then I turn my body and I side kick, okay? Now, uh, because we're really kind of close to each other, I guess I can step up on the platform. Um, so it'd be a wide check and then a side kick to the body and then a turn and a side kick to the body. Um, and the reason I kind of grabbed that was for balance. I didn't want to like jam jam, okay? But, but the idea is you're going to sidestep, okay? And then you're going to side kick down and then turning back side kick, okay? The idea is you're going for body shots on both of those, okay? Same thing would hold true now if in real life it's through the punch. I could use the outside knife as I take my right step, but in class we're just going to take the right step and then from here I'm going to side kick the belly, I'm going to set it down, and I'm going to turn this high kick belt, okay? I'm used to kind of like snapping these really fast, but that's the actual first two techniques. Now, um, next technique, okay, she throws a punch, and I'm going to use my back leg, okay? The punch is more of a stomach punch on this one. I mean, it could be a face, but I don't think in practicality anyone's going to go this high with, with the crescent kick. It's more like if someone's trying to hit him in the belly. And then what you're going to do is you're going to crescent kick the person's hand out of the way, keep this thing going, and then turning back side kick, okay? Um, then we have the two forearms that we use, okay? Same thing, she throws a punch, I'm going to forearm block, keeping the circle going, and then turn, and then turning back side kick, okay? And then um, the next one is using all four, you're going to block, you're going to go low, and then you're going to go face. Now if you notice, she actually demonstrated what would the mechanics of what really would happen there. If I went here and blocked, and then I went here, she's coming down for me to do the punch in real life, okay? And then the last one, which we try to show on a couple different things, is the universal block. She throws a punch, I palm, and I grab. And this is what I meant by controlling the person. Kind of hard to show around Bob, a little bit hard to show around that too. So the idea is one, two, okay? One, two. It's supposed to be fast like that. So one, two, okay? Now from here, the elbow break is this way. Remember I said the elbow bends naturally this way. It doesn't bend naturally the other direction. And if I did that, her whole body would extend out a little bit, okay? And then from there, go right to the ribs, okay? So that's the requirement. So it's going to be universal block, 
break the arm, okay? Now, to get that shot in, all you do is let go of the right hand and you quick go in with your elbow shot, okay? Now, I said there's some variables to this one too. She can throw the punch, I go here, and then blast her in the face. That's gonna take her mind off of it for a minute, then break, then elbow strike. That could be a variable, right? Um, and I think uh, I think that was all the variables that we really talked about. But, uh, you know, because in one of the one steps we've done in the past, uh, it was using the roundhouse kick. We went universal block, and then we took the back leg and we shot the roundhouse kick into the body, right? And we did one where we did block, punch the face, and then roundhouse kick the body, okay? So that's why I said, you know, it's almost like natural for a person to go for that punch to the face. But the actual requirement for your belt is gonna be universal block, okay? Break the arm, okay, I'm in a horse stance. I went from a back stance to a horse stance to a front stance. So there's three different stances that actually happen. And that's a demonstration of actually um, uh, one through six, the green belt requirements. They're brand new to the curriculum. And, uh, but the, the weapons that they use is they use um, the turning back side kick, they use the forearm block, or excuse me, forearm block this way, and then they use the elbow strike. Now remember, an elbow strike can be uh, to the face or the body, okay? An elbow strike can be to the chest. The idea is you're using either the flat part of the whole arm or just the elbow itself, okay? That would be like an elbow strike, or it could be to the face. Boom, right? So it's a, it's a, good, it's a good weapon, and we've introduced it in the green belt part of the curriculum, okay? Um, and that concludes uh, the one steps.